Nard has been treating Jack for about a year now, and uh, when he first came in, um, he wasn't eating. Uh, his quality of life wasn't good. He, he was in pain and just not feeling good. Um, and we really didn't think he had much time left. All right, so this is Jack, and he has some back pain and some neck stiffness, and we teach about how to locate sources of pain, especially in, in the musculoskeletal system, in large part based on our palpation. So when we can define what anatomical structures are involved in the generation of pain, then we can more accurately and, and effectively focus our acupuncture on those uh, spinal segments or nerve pathways or muscular elements. So here in the back, he's twitching as I come down here. I'm not having to press so hard that he's really uncomfortable, but just his uh, muscle responses themselves are showing me which foci on his back uh, are tender. Then I receive the palpatory feedback from the, the taut bands in his musculature that reaffirm that these are sources of his back pain. We also watch his face and um, his behavior in general. And, not. and then just the needle insertion, we isolate that taut band once again, place the needle, insert it, stimulate it, and it's as simple as this and innocuous as this, but effective to the point that you're not going to treat these myofascial restrictions as definitively with any drug. You really need a physical medicine intervention to treat this physical medicine problem. A few minutes into the acupuncture treatment, we start to get our endorphin liberation and other neurotransmitter effects and some of the tension in his back is dissipating and they generally enjoy the treatment quite a bit. We also explain uh, the use and application of soft tissue techniques. So in addition to our being able to define where there are tense muscles like here in his neck, then we teach ways to address those restrictions in the course to augment the effects of the acupuncture treatment. So here we feel some ropiness in, in these extensor muscles of the antebrachium, a little bit in the biceps, actually has some tenderness to palpation here. We can insert our needle, this acupuncture point, large intestine 11. We understand that this area is a location where the radial nerve has wound around the humerus and is separating into a deep and superficial branch, the deep branch supplying the extensors of the antebrachium and the superficial branch supplying sensation. By actually knowing what anatomy we're working with, then we can better predict and uh, be more informed about the consequences of stimulating certain anatomical structures that will deliver our physiological benefit. Uh, the evidence, uh, when he gets home afterwards, he's running around the yard, he's hungry, uh, it's, it's really obvious, it's really obvious that he's really better.